Hi, Caleb with Renos here. And in today's quick tip, we're gonna be installing the Midwest Industries lever action stock. So this is a quick tip for the installation, but it's also more of a product spotlight. Uh, so we're gonna go through the features of this thing as well. So the Midwest Industries lever action stock is made for Winchester, Marlin, Rossi, and Henry's. And today we're gonna be installing it on a Henry. Um, the installation process for each is slightly different, but if you know how to do one, you can figure out the rest. So we're gonna knock it out here. Uh, it's super quick, super simple to install. So in this video, what we'll do is go through the installation. Then I'll, after that, I'll go through all the features of the stock itself, okay? So installation, uh, of course, is gonna be, first we gotta remove our old stock. And if you're following along with the Midwest Industries instructions, it's pretty similar to how I do things. So step one is gonna be make sure the rifle is indeed unloaded. All right, awesome. Step two, uh, we're gonna repeat step one. All right. Okay, so now all we need to do is if you notice this top screw here, uh, we're just gonna take a screwdriver and un uh, remove that screw. Uh, we're not gonna be working on the vise in this video, so pretty much anybody can do this on their kitchen table or you know wherever you may be. The uh, bourbon room, cigar lounge, you know, whatever. You can knock it out. So we'll reach into our Brownells toolbox here. And of course I'm going for fix-it sticks. And I'm gonna set up a screwdriver real quick. Just a standard slotted tip to remove the one on this Henry. And yeah, we'll go with this one. And we'll just pull that screw right out of there. Right, and we'll just slide it on out. There we go. And we're gonna reuse that screw, all right? So don't, uh, don't throw it over your shoulder. All right, and the stock comes right off. We'll set that Henry stock aside. And you don't need to mess with any of this stuff, okay? That's your, your hammer, spring, hammer strut, all that stuff. Leave that there. All you need to do from this point Let's take your Midwest industry stock, slide it right on, give it a bump if it doesn't seat. All right. And if you notice, like on this one here, that top tang is sticking up a little bit, but once we tighten down that screw, that'll all go flush. So don't worry about that. We'll just take our screw, drop it into the hole, and thread it on in. And you can see everything's nice and flush now. You just make that nice and snug. You don't need to go crazy. And that's all there is to it. The stock is now installed and it is ready to go. And this is actually the first time I've messed with it. That feels, that feels really good. All right, I'm pretty, pretty excited about this one. All right, so now let's go over the features of this thing. So if you notice, we've already installed the Midwest Industries handguard on this particular rifle. Uh, if you have any questions about that, go check out that video. We did the full video on that handguard. All right, so the stock. The stock has an adjustable cheek piece, or the stock itself is all aluminum, right? You have this big aluminum frame, nice, solid, rigid stock. Uh, you have inserts for the grip, which are, they, it comes with polymer, and I'll go over some options uh, for that in just a bit. You have a rubberized butt pad, that's nice and comfortable. And then you have a polymer cheek piece because aluminum cheek pieces, if you've ever used one, you know, they can be uncomfortable, especially, uh, especially if you're out in the cold doing some shooting, a cold cheek piece is, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm just whining about it now, but you get where I'm going with this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna actually do whenever we're going through accessories here, before we accessorize it, and I'll show you why I did this, you'll get it in just a second. I'm gonna swap this cheek piece over for a left-handed shooter because I am indeed left eye dominant. So if you have any questions about how to swap that cheek piece, uh, we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. All right, so if you notice, there's two screws on top here. Those are your adjustment screws as well. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and remove those real quick.
All right, I'm just going to pull those screws all the way out. All right, and if I wanted to adjust my cheek piece higher at this point, I would just lift it up and put those screws back in. Uh, but we're just actually going to go ahead and flip it over completely for a lefty here, and we'll even raise it up a little bit. So you just raise it, and I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a second. So all I did was line up the hole in the stock with the hole in the cheek piece, right there, and then you just tighten the screw back down. That's how you flip it from left to right and adjust the heights as we just did. All right, so the reason I did that is because Midwest Industries has all these cool accessories for this stock. And one of them is a shell hanger, and I didn't want to put the shell hanger on this side uh, because that's where my face is gonna be and that's gonna get in the way. So I flipped that cheek piece and here it is right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this open and show you. All right. And this is it. So it attaches via M-Lock on the back here, which all the accessories we're about to go over except the grip panels are M-Lock. Uh, so all we need to do, see if that's the right size. It is, that's convenient. I like when companies use the same like socket size for everything. That makes everything way easier. All right, so what we're gonna need to do, it looks like these top two shell holders uh, we're going to have to pull those off completely, which is just one screw. Comes off there. And comes off there. And something else I'm going to point out real quick. These shell holders are the same ones that they offer as their M-Lock shell holders. So you can actually get these and attach it to the handguard if you want to. You don't have to attach everything to the stock. Like these, you can attach them to the forend and have extra shells or extra cartridges on your forend right there. Um, I keep saying shells, I'll, I'll start saying cartridges. All right, so we're just gonna loosen these two screws here because those are the M-Lock mounting screws, right? And we've done a lot of M-Lock stuff in the past, so you should know how to mount M-Lock. If not, we have a whole video dedicated just on how to mount M-Lock accessories. All right, so I'm just going to position this, or I'm doing it upside. I'm trying to do it so I can see it and the camera can see it, and it's just it's just the, the troubles, of, troubles of gunsmithing on camera, right? So we're just going to align our M-Lock slots here. Stick it right there. It's nice and intuitive there. You don't really need to guess where it goes. Pretty easy. All right, so we're just gonna loosen those screws a little more and turn them. And then we can look on the opposite side. Yep, you can see in these holes here, or these slots here and here, that our M-lock back pieces are horizontal, uh, which means they're locked in. That's what we want to see. It's nice that we have a window to, to double check everything there. And exactly how I took these show holders off, these little cartridge holders here, those will go right back on. And I'm just going to make sure the rest of them are tight. They are. Yeah, this feels good. All right. And we'll go through. We'll uh, actually take some ammo and stick it in here at the end. Uh, so other cool features of this here. If for whatever reason you just have like massively long arms and you need to make the length of pull longer, uh, you can get a spacer for it. Let me dig into the... Midwest Industries box of wonder here, and you have a stock spacer. All right, comes with the longer screws, 
So basically all you would need to do, we're not going to do it here because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just remove those two butt pad screws, put the spacer in, and install the butt pad with the new screws. That's all there is to it. Uh, so that was, that'll be super straightforward if you need that. Um, I, for, for reference here, I'm six foot tall, right? I have pretty, pretty long arms, you know, but I have an average length of pole, so it fits just fine for me. Feels good. All right, so other accessories. And these are these are pretty cool because I, I appreciate nicer things. You know, for those of you who appreciate nicer things, uh, G10 panels, right? So these G10 panels, we'll actually go ahead and install some here. So we have, this is a gray and black G10 panel. They also have a red and black and I'll take all these out the packaging so you can see them here in just a second. And you have a green and black. All right, so we'll just tear these open like a madman. And those packaging we'll just throw over our shoulders here. So I will, uh, I'm just gonna kind of prop them up here so you can see. This is the green and black. Those look pretty good. I got a tough decision to make here shortly. That is our red and black. And this is our gray and black. Man, that's, uh, those are the colors they currently offer for it. And uh, at the time of this video, you know, obviously that can change. And they also have M-Lock panels that go with it. And you can install these M-Lock panels. So the, the grip panels obviously go in this serrated grip section here that's inletted. And the M-Lock pieces, uh, you can stick them down here, you know, wherever you want them, over here, whatever. Uh, but they also fit just fine on the handguard, which is probably where I'm going to put them. I may even, like, take some of these and put them on my AR-15. I just, I like G-10 stuff. So, uh, what we'll do here to install a grip panel, I still don't know what color I'm going to go with. I'm hoping I'll make a decision by the time I get this one off here. You just loosen these screws. You're gonna reuse these screws, so again, don't uh, don't throw those away. Give them away. You know, whatever you do with extra screws, I don't know. Uh, so we'll pull out those plastic panels. I'll just kind of knock over everything in the process in true Caleb fashion. All right, that panel comes out and the new panel, which we are going with the green. Uh, this is for the other side. You just take it. If, you are, if you've ever done a puzzle or you've done like that game as a kid where you got to put like square block, square hole. Uh, some of you weren't great at that. That's okay. I, you know, me, I, I struggle with things. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of like that game. And we just put the screws back in. Nice and snug. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. There we go. All right, and that I think I think we made a good choice here. The green looks the green looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. All right, uh, so that is a accessory you can get for the stock. Um, something we didn't cover was actually uh, other features of the stock like QD swivel points. So you have a QD point on the bottom here. Any QD stud will fit in there. You have one right here. You have another one all the way at the back, next to a standard eyelet style sling swivel and then you have QD on both sides at the top so uh, plenty of QD options so I mean you one of those locations is one you may want to use um, if you want to use all of them at the same time I'm not going to judge you I, I personally wouldn't do I wouldn't advise anyone to do that uh, but you can options are there all right so 
that is the Midwest industry stock and the accessories they have for it. Like I said before, you can take these m -lock ones. Um, I'm just destroying packaging. Uh, you can stick them down here. You can stick them wherever. I mean, it, they look okay there. They go with the, the actual G10 grip here. Uh, but like I said, I personally would stick them on the fore end. And I promised you we would put some shells in that uh, holder there. So let, let me grab a box of buck hammer here. All right, so this is the Henry chambered in 360 buck hammer. Which is an awesome straight wall cartridge for lever guns. All right, and to stick them in there, you just come in from the top and you just push them down. And for this one here, we'll have to kind of, this one's going to be tricky. Yep, you just push it straight in. It goes in there, no problem. And I'll show you here once we get them all set up. And these are, it's a flexible polymer that actually hold these in and they, uh, they mount really well. You gotta really wanna push them in there, which is good, which means they're not just gonna fall out, right? We'll just kinda push that one down. We'll just push all those down here. Make everything, my OCD's kicking in. All right, and there you go. You got all your extra ammo you need there. All right, perfect. Yeah, so when you're out there just trying to like shoot deer or whatever you're hunting and you just keep missing because you suck so bad, uh, you can just pull the ammo right out and load it in. Super easy, you don't have to dig in your pockets or anything. Uh, also, like I said, you know, you can get the Midwest holders that'll mount to the handguard so you can throw them on the handguard if you want whatever you want to do this system is super modular uh, which is what makes it so awesome so if you have any questions or comments uh, you're watching this on youtube feel free to leave them down below hit that like and subscribe button a lot of people commenting and watching these videos aren't subscribers we need to change that you got to support us all right uh, if you're watching this on the website um, we still appreciate your support and feel free to give us a call on the tech line we'll be happy to hear from you Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.